Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass, and in this video, I'll be going over how you can add affiliate links to your Shopify store. I'll be going over how you can manually add them today. If you want to use an app, Shopify has a few really good ones available that make it really easy to set up affiliate links and to track purchases. But in today's video, I'll be going over a manual way here. It's completely free. This can be great if you're just trying out affiliates or you only have one or two that you want to add in, but you still want to track their sales performance. So make sure you stay until the end of the video here. Before I dive into it, I want to thank our sponsored profit calc the one click profit calculator available on the shopify app store you allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get real-time profit calculations with just a few clicks here all you have to do is select your date range it's going to give you detailed analytics on how much money you're actually making plus a bunch of further calculations to help you understand your store's performance there's a link in the description to access a 15-day free trial i'm going to show a quick promo video as well are you a shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. In terms of creating affiliate links for your Shopify store, there are several ways to do it. I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the easiest way and the best way to do it at scale would be to use an affiliate marketing app such as Reversion. This is great for signing up affiliates and managing a larger portion of affiliates. Additionally, there are other apps available such as UpPromote, Bix Growth, as well as affiliate marketing and referral. These apps all help with affiliate marketing. The second way would be to use a URL shortener. A site such as Bitly, we can generate custom URLs. These are going to be shorter than your regular URL. You can use custom links with your brand. It's going to give you advanced analytics and tracking. So you can see how many clicks these got here. The third way, and this one's the free way we're going to go over in this video, is UTM codes. So UTM codes are snippets of text added to the end of a URL to help track where website traffic comes from. If users click a link to this URL, Marketers customize this text to match the web page this URL is linked on in order to attribute the success of that campaign to specific pieces of content. So using UTM codes in combination with your Google Analytics, you'll be able to track specific sources and then you can go through and find out how many sales were actually attributed to URLs using this UTM code. So let's go over a UTM code example. I'll also leave a link in the description below as HubSpot did an amazing job of explaining this here. So everything in bold here is going to be the UTM code. So after the URL, it's going to be a question mark all by different attributes, which you can set. So it's going to be prefaced with UTM underscore, and then you can specify the campaign. That's the UTM parameter here. You're going to set it to equals. I'm going to call this one blog post. You can set it to what you're looking for. You can also set the medium and the source. So depending on what you want to do, you can either set the campaign, medium, or source here to a custom affiliate link. Maybe the source is going to be affiliate. Campaign could be the specific affiliate's name. Between each of them, you can include the symbol here to denote another UTM parameter will follow. But with this, Google Analytics is going to be able to parse the UTM source, and you can dive into those analytics there to find out where the traffic was driven from. In terms of locating these UTM parameters in Google Analytics, you can scroll down to acquisition. You can either go into all traffic and source medium. You can also separate by channels or go to overview. There's also going to be the filtering option here if you click into it to filter by source medium medium, source, medium, or other, and you can specify the UTM parameter there. That's how you would find it here. This is a Google Analytics account with no data, but that would be the standard process here on how to sort by different UTM parameters. Because using these will make it easy for Google Analytics to digest the data and then make it easy to display to you. If you do dive into conversions down to e-commerce, then to sales performance, if you filter by different dimensions here, you can search source or medium, and that will give you further filtering options as well based on your UTM parameters. This is gonna conclude the video here on how to add affiliate links to your Shopify store. And over several ways here, mainly the UTM parameters and then viewing and tracking those in Google Analytics. If you enjoy this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Lastly, I want to mention Profit Calc one more time. The one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify App Store it comes with a 15-day free trial. And there's a link in the description below to access the trial there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in our next video.